Well, we just got to the Vignesh's amazing place right there. Follow, follow him, guys, on the Instagram. Well, he's, his babies are right here. There's one of them. It's a V8 monster. Didn't you just replace the differential on it? Yeah. No, you put LSD, LSD, right? Yeah, it's an LSD. It's that's so awesome. Fun. Went had a little fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow, well, this the wagon, though. This is the legit crazy stuff, the wagon. Man, we got to talk about the wagon. You going to talk about the wagon in a little yeah, bit? So okay. This one's uh, an S50 swap. So, yeah, so S50, it came from 1995 E36 M3 yeah. BMW. And it's currently in this bad boy. And it's a stick shift as well. Yeah, so now that's we badass. Just swap that's badass. That's badass. Man, black yeah. interior. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah, I remember the steering wheel you were showing. That's yeah. nice. I mean, Man, I that is badass. Yeah. That is badass. Dash swap is coming. Yeah, that too. Nice, yeah, nice. Got a couple swap dashes. Never too many parts for these cars, yeah. guys. You got to keep on saving these parts, you know? You got to keep on... Man, I miss this car too. I mean, that's... I, I love the wheels Leo, too. Leo was ripping around. Yeah, he was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's the the legit test driver, you yeah, know, the test know. guy. Yeah, he officially tested this. He, he he was like, did he approve it? I'm pretty sure he, he did, approved he it. Yeah, so that's good. He you know, with the welded there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I wonder, like, when I f have my first E34, it's probably gonna be automatic, and I'm gonna make sure to go to Leo. <laughs> hey, Leo, can you drive this thing for me? He's probably gonna be like, Bleh! <laughs> automatic man with the heel. <laughs> Well, pop the hood first. Got to check the oil and all that. We don't start it yet. Nice. You see how it pops open? It means you did the job by lubricating it. No, I, I did the whole strut. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. That's why the struts are brand new. Wow. It's clean. Yeah, you did a lot of work to it before too, huh? You did so much. Oh, yeah, I did everything. Everything. Hoses, thermostat, all that. Yeah. And the main thing is this guy, the cold air intake. That's number one. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no, yeah. No, that one, it honestly, Yeah. I got it off a parts car and I just took it and I had it. Nah, yeah, for sure. I'm just kidding, bro. No, just, I, I need yeah. to change that out. No, but okay. I was, that's like more Whatever like a test. Have. I just don't want it to like touch this. Oh, that's no, not going to touch. I thought it was going to touch the belt or something. Nah. Man, radiator is brand new too. Yeah. Sheesh. Brand new look at those uh, coils right there. Wow. Yeah, yeah no. straight from eBay. Nice eBay. Good eBay. But they're actually pretty good. That's nice. what's on the 530. Nice. No, I mean, I'm not saying anything. I don't know much about them, but yeah, that's cool. Very nice. Well, let's uh, have a minute and then we're just going to start working on it. Amazing machine, bro. Yeah. Let's check that oil. Yeah. It seems like it's got oil there. Yeah, it's got oil for sure. Cool we have more too. extra in case we need. Yeah, that's good. pretty good. It's nice, bro. Nice. Okay. Well, we'll start it up and then uh, we'll see how she does. Yeah, I definitely heard that. The compression. Yeah. The da -na -na -na. Yeah. Yep. She is definitely running on less than six cylinders. Okay, that's okay. Does it get any better when it gets warm or no? It's the same thing, right? Did you ever notice any difference that it would smooth out or it's still, it's always been the same? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a misfiring, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, just shut it off for now. So we're gonna try the compression test first and a few tricks and then we'll see. That will dictate whether we are pulling this head or what. Vano slide. Yeah. All that, like, it looks new. Good. So oh, you said oil bad. leak, right? Yeah. I mean, it could be, I don't think it's coming from the oil filter housing it could be from right there somewhere we yeah. would have to do more inspection do you know exactly if it leaks like like towards the front of the engine more or like the rear both both right okay so you think it has a puddle right now underneath right. it honestly should oh yeah oh yeah it actually does yeah, she's pretty wet there you know what i think 
before we take it apart, we have to like start it up and see where it's dripping from. Actually, we're gonna have to probably do that. Okay. Might have to like jack it up a little. But that's the thing, I have never seen it actually drip. It's always like leaves puddles. It's just leaves puddles? Yeah. Okay. We'll just have to figure out where it's leaking from. Keep that. If it's cylinder five and six, if they both show low compression or no compression, mm -hmm. it's most likely that gasket. Okay, well, we have to double check that. So let's try to start it up a little for a little longer so we can check i want to look if see if it's dripping any oil underneath that we can tell from and then and then we'll try uh doing the compression test okay. all right should i start it yep yeah, go for it It could be having multiple oil, you know, places from where it's leaking oil. But right now I just looked on this side and it doesn't really seem that there's, there's a huge oil leak from the head gasket or anything. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it. There's something else. I think it only comes when I'm at high RPM. Yeah. But no, because the block on this side, uh, right below the head, Right below the head, the block on this side is pretty clean, actually. It's, like, pretty dry. There's not really, like, much oil there. There's nothing. So, something else probably under this intake manifold that we're just overlooking, you know? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, some of them still get that oil, right, you said? Yeah, if we look at the... the how thing. much oil is in there? Can you see? In the uh, in the well? Not a lot, no. but there's oil in there. So yeah, pull the coils out. I'm going to pull the plugs out now and check the compression of every cylinder. It's crazy, bro. It's Very crazy. crazy. Strong guy. Hell yeah. So take a look. So if you look, you see how it's pinched on this side and this side, it's like, it's not, it should be round all the way around. Like it should be straight all the way around. It's not. So is it over tightened? Mm, it's, or it's just slipped off. It's like, you know, it rolled on you or something, you know, or it's over tightened, but it's, it's, you see, it's not straight. You see how this side is in all the way of the mm -hmm. O-ring? Yeah. And this is all like sticks out right here. That's what why. about this one? The second one? Mm -hmm. That's the same way I can see it's not straight. The th this one, this one looks pretty good. That's why it's not leaking. That one is okay. That one's okay. Yeah. So, I mean, the you'll probably just have to get another uh, valve cover for it. Yeah, that's, that's number six. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to have gas in there too because it's, if it's not firing... So after you take all the plugs out, we're gonna have to crank it with no spark plugs again because of that. Those two, the two cylinders, they're gonna that oil is just gonna drain into the cylinder. So is that bad? Well, uh, you wanna actually like you wanna crank it with no spark plugs to make sure that because if you put the the spark plug back, you can hydrolock the engine. It it's probably not gonna happen, but since there's so much oil in those two holes, mm -hmm. uh, you wanna crank it first before without spark plugs in there. Oh, what cylinder is that? Two. That's just some garbage. In my motor? Well, I don't know what's in there, but that looks like some garbage. I might have picked it up. Maybe, maybe up. from like the wall, the, yeah. the wall itself, you Dude, know, the well. Shit, this is the cold. same thing? No. Oh, the, the oil, yeah, because I mean, it's, yeah, the valve cover is going to have to get redone. Okay, you got all of them out. That's good. Now we're gonna have to crank it really quick without the spark plugs out. So I wanna make sure that doesn't get hydro locked. Okay. All right, cool. Now we're good. Now we can do the compression test. I'm learning you 
you're learning something. <laughs> I'm learning so much. This better be on YouTube, bro. They will be on YouTube, bro. What you mean? We're doing YouTube shit. Back on this <laughs> you'll be looking at it 10 years from now. Oh, I got, I still got the wagon and everything. This is what I was doing 10 years ago. <laughs> can I connect this right now? Yeah, you can do that, actually. Bro, it looks like we're supposed to get another one, too. Mm, no, nah, it'll be fine. Just tighten these as much as you can. That's the same thread like the spark plug. Yeah, yeah. it is. Cool. Okay, but it's okay. I'll go on that. All side. right, go ahead and install that. Yeah. You see this? Oh, yeah. yeah, like that. And then try oh, to just yeah. do the hose first all the way. Okay, but. And okay, then it looks like it's in. All the way? Does it feel like it? Yeah. Okay, cool. So then connect that. Connect the gauge and then we can we can test it. Basically, what I need you to do, I'm going to turn the key and crank it. What I need you to do, you're going to be watching this, the gauge. Mm -hmm. And you're going to, like, when it, when the when the needle stops, that's when we're good. It's, okay. you know, like, it's, like, just wait and see till it stops. And then tell me, okay, it stopped at this point, whatever. Okay, back. No, you're good. Don't, don't be as, as scared. Don't be a chukcha. Hold on. All right. You will see how it works. Still moving up? 90. Oh, should point to me? Ooh. That looks low, bro. 90. Did you connect it properly all the way? Yeah. Okay. Let's retry it. Let's I see. Uh-huh. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Crank a little more. All right, that's good. Okay, so just, uh, let's say around 100 PSI. Well, well, it's the same threads on the bottom. And so it, it's basically the same thing almost like, okay, but this, I mean, it has compression. It's not the best, best. I don't know what's the spec on these engines, but you know, it's, it's like around 90 something, seven, maybe something like that. Yeah. Well, we'll check other ones. Uh, crank it until I tell you to stop. Okay. Ready? Yep. All right, good. Good. Wow, oh, this one is like 170, 165. Yeah, this one is pretty healthy. Go for it. All right, good. 150, that's good. You ready? Cylinder four, let's go for it. All right, All right good. Uh, 145 or so, 150, close enough. Okay, cylinder five, go ahead. Keep going, keep going. Nothing. All right, good. That's five. Hold on, let's check the six. I feel like it is a head gasket because it's coming out of number six hole. It's literally like, so, like when you're cranking right now, there's so much coming out from the cylinder six. So try, try that again, try that again. Crank it. Yeah. All right, you see? It's compression. It's sealed now in this cylinder. It's five. And from the sixth hole, it's coming out. That's crazy. So it was a five and six. Because I was looking at the four. Let's, let's check six now. So when I, when I do the six, it should be coming out from number five. That will tell you so much. Okay, well, crank it up. And let's see if it comes out of here. Yeah, ready. Yep. Coming out like crazy here. And nothing. Good. Yep. 
all that compression after you seal that sun that compression is yeah. coming out of the other hole yeah. <laughs> that is crazy that's something that you don't see every day actually that is nuts but yeah these Insane. this was what was it 90 something yeah. these were pretty good yeah, 150 50 50 whatever these were two zeros um yeah two zeros pretty yeah. crazy you ready to pull that head yes <laughs> yeah uh yeah the engine was running on four cylinders four cylinders out of six thanks for that so now we're just kind of doing one last thing i want to put a little more oil into the cylinder once see if the compression goes up i have a feeling it's going to be like a he, he, as soon as he takes the head off he's going to do all the valves and all that stuff he's going to lap them clean them up and all that take care of that but i just want to see if the compression goes up after we put some oil in there little bit okay we're gonna put this much and then we're gonna crank it without anything i'll tell you when let's see Okay, so crank it right now. Crank it? Yeah. I just want to make sure I'm just going to do this. Crank it with no spark plugs first. Ready? Yep, ready. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, good. It's actually, I think I put a lot of oil in there. So go ahead, crank some more. about to pull the cylinder head off on this machine. Yeah.